Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today is January 24th, 2023. The Lord titled this word, Surprise, Surprise, Surprise. The scripture he gave me is Isaiah 30, verse 18, which says, And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are they that wait for him. And this is the word. After praying yesterday, that would be January 23rd, I began hearing the words, surprise, surprise, surprise. If you're familiar with the old series, Gomer Pyle, you will recall that Gomer used to say those words quite often to Sergeant Carter. When I first heard it, it sounded just like the way Gomer used to say it. I continued hearing those words for the rest of the day and also during the night as I didn't sleep much. The few times that I did doze off, I dreamed parts of the vision that he showed me later today. After spending time in prayer and hearing these words again, the Lord told me to write. This is vision number one. As soon as I got my notebook and wrote the word, surprise, 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 I had a vision where I was taken to Washington, D.C. I see the Capitol building in front of me, and I am looking at it from above. As I looked on, suddenly a huge hand descended right in front of me from above and grabbed the Capitol by the dome and lifted it up. While holding it in the air, the hand flipped the building over and placed it back down on the ground, upside down. When the building was upright and picked up, it was white in color, but as soon as it was turned over while in the air, the color instantly changed to black and it was put back upside down in black. I see the other buildings in DC begin to have the same thing happen to them. They are being lifted up one by one, flipped over, turned to black and then placed back down, upside down and black. I saw this happen to the White House, the Pentagon, the Naval Observatory, and the National Church. The Lord then spoke these words. The things coming to the political system in this nation will be turned upside down. Surprise! I am neither red nor blue. I am holy and just. Two things this nation is not. I will upend the system in the coming days. Vision number two. I was then taken out into space. I see the earth, the moon, and the sun and the relationship of them to each other. I am closest to the earth, but my attention is drawn to the sun. I see the sun begin to look like it's convulsing. And as it does, large amounts of plasma are being extended out into space in all directions. Then suddenly I see what looks like a massive amount of plasma, which I understood to be a CME heading directly toward Earth. The Lord then spoke these words, Surprise! Your world will soon be in total darkness with no power. This judgment is not the three days of darkness as this darkness will last much longer. It will knock out all power to the sun-facing side of the earth. The other side of the earth will not be affected. America, you will be sun-facing. Have you prepared your heart for the chaos to follow? Repent now, for many will perish. This is vision number three. I see in front of me a large megachurch, I don't know the location, but there are palm trees all around. I am taken inside the church, and everyone is dressed in black as for a funeral. There is a casket on the platform, all draped in black. The sign in front of the casket says, Ichabod. Then, from the back of the church, way up high in the seats, I hear one lone person shout out, Repent! 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 His clothes are not black like everyone else, but they are a dazzling white. People in the church begin to repent, and as they do, 
their clothes turned from black to dazzling white. Then the Lord spoke these words, Surprise, for I am going to do a mighty thing in these last days. Many will repent, and their robes will be turned to white. Repent now, says the Lord. Turn from your wicked ways. I am coming soon, and it will be a surprise. Amen. Given by the Lord Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led to do so by the Lord. Please see the description box for the transcript of this word. If there's anyone out there who has not come to the Lord Jesus, repent, ask for forgiveness, and surrender your life to him. Time is short. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye for now.